just got off Splash Mountain for a second time and that was pretty awesome. So the first time I focused primarily on filming the perspective of like the third row with nobody on the boat or the log so that was nice. And then the second ride through I rode in the front row and got that full perspective, I mean that full video. So over here by the Hungry Bear restaurant, uh, next to our cross from Splash Mountain, we can see some of the construction for Star Wars Land. And if I do a zoom in, uh, we obviously can see the crane. And then they are definitely building uh, some of the structure right there. We also have the train passing through, which recently reopened. We're definitely going to ride that throughout the day as well, because that is, uh, you know, refurbished and it has like a new course that it goes through. So that will be awesome. But just wanted to cover some of the Star Wars construction. I know we can't cover a whole lot and we do apologize about that. But if I do have time later, I'll go to the top of the Disneyland parking garages and we should be able to see a little bit more from up there. But as far as inside the park, right now this is the best view we can get. And we can actually um, show you guys the brand new path that I believe recent, uh, recently opened up. So we'll take like a little stroll through. I really like the uh, looks of everything. It looks awesome. You can definitely hear some construction noises coming from that construction site, but they did an amazing job with the new railroad path. You know, for a while they actually had this all closed off because they were working on the construction uh, for the new railroad path because they had to reroute it for Star Wars land construction so they can fit the entire expansion in. But I just gotta say, wow. I mean, they did a phenomenal job on this. We come to a dead end and we have that wall for Star Wars land. We're gonna check this out. And by the way, this is the bridge that the uh, recently refurbished railroad goes right over. So we will actually come up to this wall and look at some of the uh, posters that they have posted. Very cool, uh, but nothing speculating what Star Wars land will look like or nothing really specific. Uh, I know at D23 Expo they did actually release uh, an entire kind of um, scale model of what it will look like, but I mean right here right now we just have this so uh, I don't know if we can really get a great view through the cracks. I mean you can't really get a great view because there's another wall uh, behind the cracks, but that is that. That is what we have here. Look at how amazing the Mark Twain riverboat looks. I didn't even know that they offered this. I'd love to do this. Learn how to paddle. <laughs> I'm not sure if that is like a special tour that you have to sign up for, or if there's like a specific cost. They have a bunch of uh, cast members kind of in the back paddling as well to help out. So that is, it's an attraction, like you can line up I'm surprised the queue line isn't very long. I'm gonna find my friend. He's gonna meet me by the front entrance. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Wow, that's gonna be fun and the weather is perfect for some canoeing. So I now have a fast pass to use for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and I'll be getting on it right now. You now use your park ticket for a fast pass or you can use your phone uh, if you have the max pass system and you scan it right there. You don't need to present your fast pass return ticket. That is just for like our reference. You can book fast passes or reserve fast passes on the mobile app. It's called Disney Max Pass. Uh, this is a service that is offered for Disneyland exclusively here at the Disneyland Resort. 
And so I'm gonna get started and it costs about $10 a day per person. You get unlimited photo pass downloads for that specific day. And then you also have the opportunity to book fast passes. So over by Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, we do have that new trail, and we will check that out a little bit later on as we get some more time. But uh, the railroad does pass over this bridge here, and then that crane behind us, that's for Star Wars Land. We're just gonna follow the pathway over to Fantasyland. For right now, we'll definitely cover the pathway that goes over to Fantasyland from Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now this pathway isn't that long, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you guys can see we have the lights hanging off the rocks, very, very well themed. Some more pathways down there. Here at Disneyland, it's so easy to just walk right under the castle uh, compared to at Walt Disney World, where they always have some kind of show, so always some kind of block in front of the castle. It is the Main Street Trolley here at Disneyland. There's the horse. I am now walking back down Main Street to meet up 
with my friend by the park entrance. Uh, I think then we're gonna get a fast pass for Space Mountain and then do those uh, canoes or whatever. They do have some merchandise for the Main Street Electrical Parade. They have some shirts. They did move the Main Street Electrical Parade to this park. They had it for a while at the Magic Kingdom. Out of all the times I've been to Walt Disney World and Disneyland, never been on the trolley. I'll do it at some point when I get back to Disney World, hopefully. Oh. Passing the Matterhorn bobsleds. They actually recently added a fast pass distribution area for Matterhorn bobsleds. Uh, nothing big, but I find it, you know, interesting that they did add a fast pass for the Matterhorn. We're gonna put the ticket in there and get that. This is not a fast pass ticket. There we go. This is not a fast pass uh, or not a valid fast pass ticket for Matterhorn bobsleds. But that is really all that is to this area. We just have that sign there right behind the Matterhorn. We are now going to get on the train and do a full lap. Uh, we're starting here in the new Orleans Square section. Gotcha. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. We're now entering Splash Mountain, rumored to be the location of the one and only Laughing Place. If you look real hard, you just might find it. It's where the critters are celebrating a zippity doo dah day. Traveling through nature's wonderland in a matter of days, 
rather than the months it used to take by mule or stagecoach. Steam power not only fueled these iron horses, but the dreams of a whole new generation as it moved west into this great frontier. Of course, some of those dreams, and the stories that went with them, were pretty darn wild and downright unbelievable. Like on Big Thunder Mountain, where I hear that mysterious spirits have grabbed hold of those mining trains and turned them into the wildest ride in the wilderness. Space Mountain. We're gonna ride it. Here we go. Space, Space Mountain. In the dark. <laughs> I said it. because we got some fast passes and guess who's here Tyler Hi. and what's your Instagram um, Waltography world all right yeah so definitely follow him I'll put like a link in the uh, down bar in the description below you can definitely uh, follow him on Instagram he posts some awesome Disneyland pictures and he takes some good photography so definitely check him out but uh, yeah so he's telling me a lot about the park uh, well certain things like I didn't know Matterhorn had uh, well I knew they had two sides but I didn't know one was uh, less rough than the other so that's good to know mm -hmm.
right? That's so much better. Well, I'm not dead, so I totally had a fun time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. It is now time for pizza port. We're gonna get some pizza for lunch here in Tomorrowland. This is what I got, just your generic like Disney Parks pepperoni pizza. But check it out, I got a Mickey Mouse uh, chocolate mousse right there. That is looking good. And then a water. The Tower of Terror is still on there. Not the Guardians of the Galaxy, so maybe in the future they'll switch that. About to show you how the new system works uh, with Max Pass. So he has his phone out here, and he's just gonna scan our Fast Passes, and that is exactly how it works. No more uh, Fast Pass tickets. Here's what the Fast Pass looks like. So it says Fast Pass for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Has a time, a picture in the background, and a barcode above. Um. Oh, there's a hat in the track. How's it going? Hey! <laughs> How are the other toys doing? We're going to explore more of the new path that they recently added. And I know earlier in the vlog I said I would explore more and now I am doing that. So the railroad does go over this bridge right here. And as we continue walking, you are going to notice that there is indeed a wall here, but not forever. At some point in the future, this will be open up and uh, this will be the entrance, one of the several entrances to Star Wars land. We do have some concept art over here on the wall and it doesn't say Star Wars land or anything, but what it does say is on a remote outpost planet, new adventures await. And so, looks like we have one of the Star Wars uh, spaceships right there and the rest of the land. We're gonna get on Star Tours because we have a fast pass for that. Attention please. All droids leaving the system must be
Let's run a light lost on the camera. Please pay attention to the following safety information when the automatic doors are open. Stormtroopers, uh, that ride was awesome. I enjoyed it. It is now time to do Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm not gonna record. I'm just gonna play. I was trying hard. That's no... F you got 70,000? Okay, I kind of... I'm. That's better than before. I think last time I got like 200. We are now going to try to get on the Disneyland monorail. It's been a while since I've ridden the Disneyland monorail and I like it much better than the Walt Disney World monorail. They are running uh, the red and blue monorails today. I don't know which color we'll get, but what we're wanting to do is get um, in the like front cabin. Time for the monorail. So as you guys can see, this is the monorail track on the monorail platform. That's Rocket Rods, and I'm pretty sure that was the actual name of the attraction. It does connect with the monorail platform, uh, at least on the support structure, so I'm not really sure if they'd ever remove that. There's Monorail Red. We're gonna head in. Oh, it's air conditioned in here. Yay! some of the backstage areas. And in this particular area, they used to have the golden Gate Bridge up here that was taken out several years ago. You got it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is where the Golden Gate Bridge used to be. Gonna go right through uh, the Disney's Grand Californian Resort. It's the fanciest one, I think. I stayed here once. It was nice. <laughs> 
We are now doing Roger Rabbits. Haven't uh, done this before, so it is now my first time riding this attraction. All right, I am in for a treat. First time ever riding this. I did not know this thing spin. Hey, Goofy, how's it going? You want to be in my video? 